Hey guys, uh, it's Dari here and uh, today I'm going to show you how to create a fashion illustration uh, with a already uh, drawn figure. These kind of figures you can find in Pinterest or just in Google. It's usually just a, like a female or male figure which been already created and how to put it in Procreate and sketch clothes on it. Uh, in my opinion, it's very good way for designers or for like, uh, I mean, fashion creators to sketch their ideas on without, if they don't know how to sketch, uh, for example, if you don't know how to sketch a fashion figure or you, maybe you just don't want to fiddle with it too much. I mean, Procreate gives us an amazing opportunity to just skip that step and focus directly on creating your fashion designs. So I found my figure on uh, Pinterest. I think they have this series of uh, very nice drawn figures, which I really like the aesthetics of it. And I just uh, dropped it in uh, Procreate and uh, put it in a separate layer and change the opacity and then create it another layer and with a pencil brush I'm going to create basically the outfit also the hair shoes um, clothes on it so everything with this very beautiful base and I'm starting with the outfit. Meanwhile, I just wanted to also tell you that it's very important to be able to create this fashion figure. And I mean, if you're an illustrator, you probably would have to learn it anyway, because sometimes you need to do your fashion sketches on paper and you'll need to do it quickly. But if you are an iPad illustrator or you not an illustrator but you're a designer and for some reason you don't you didn't you just started to be a designer you didn't do design school you didn't do enough sketching and enough practicing but you just need to be, you just need your illustration to be done and uh, you just I don't know for my experience of working a fashion illustrator I didn't do it for like, uh, I, I didn't get an education as a fashion artist or fashion designer or even artist. It's all purely self kind of driven thing. And for me, this is absolutely, I mean, Procreate is absolutely amazing too, to be able to like be an illustrator and uh, just maybe sometimes skip that step which you don't have time for or you don't particularly like or maybe you're just learning how to sketch a fashion figure so yeah I think this is great and if we have this tool we really need to use it that's my opinion although somebody may tell you that Oh, you're tracing, that's not very, it's cheating. I think it's all, I'm sorry. I think it's a very silly thing to say because all people are different and it's a lot of us who doesn't like to, you know, to, who doesn't want to put a lot of time on learning how to sketch perfectly a body a human body <laughs> because I mean it can look easy but it's not easy when you're just starting out it can give you a lot of anxiety when it's not not coming out especially at first times when you do it it doesn't uh, uh, it doesn't come out right and gives you a lot of anxiety and thoughts mm, maybe I'm not very good I shouldn't do it guys I think you should do it how you can and with a procreate you just can do it as good as everyone else 
So um, I definitely will cover in another video how to sketch a fashion figure from scratch. And I mean, I already did it in some of the, my videos, but if you can see in a lot of videos, I'm doing it really quickly. And, uh, but I'm definitely gonna do, I'm gonna create a separate video how to do it like a, like a properly, but also how the quickest way to learn how to do it. So I think for today, we just stick to this and you see, and as a result today, you will get, I'm sure you'll get a, a very beautiful illustration and you'll be amazed of the result because when the shape is perfect uh, to put clothes on it, um, step by step and then um, outline and put the color, the result is very, very beautiful. So I think I'm gonna speed up a bit more this video of um, sketching. As you can see, I'm sketching it with a pencil, just uh, adding a lot of uh, details of a blazer. It's a blazer and skirt and top with a little Prada bag and uh, little shoes. So yeah, continue with the outline. So as you can see, our first rough sketch is ready and I can take away the a fashion figure layer and uh, current layer I did a little bit uh, less opacity and in a new layer I'm using a technical pen brush and I'm starting to outline and I think I'm going to speed up this one again but uh, I covered a lot with the outline on a previous video where we was just uh, creating like a fashion figure with a dress but yeah, I think this technical pen is really cool tool as well because it's just uh, creates this very nice line and uh, also just pay attention to details and outline what you think it need to be here. And yeah, let's speed up video until we finish the outline and we will talk about uh, line thickness. Because as you can see, uh, we in a previous video we used a studio pen, and studio pen Elizabeth, it's a little bit more, it has a little bit more range of line thickness, depends on the pressure um, on a screen. But technical line, uh, technical pen, sorry, it's a little bit different tool, so it's pretty much all the same. So same, the range of uh, thickness of the line is not as big but I think for this kind of art it's also very good Baby, you 
some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me a good night. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me in line and dry. So guys, as you can see, we just uh, outlined our um, illustration and uh, we're starting to, do, to add a little bit more thick lines. Uh, it's kind of like a, I don't know, I just, uh, I just call it just, just a thick contour lines, which creates a little bit of volume on a sketch. I usually do it on a right side of illustration. So is just make the sketch kind of pop on the screen, if you know what I mean. And uh, I usually adding these lines on the right side of the object and, and on the bottom of the objects and uh, these elements which are standing, like for example, on the bottom of the blazer, definitely on the bottom of the skirt. So, I think it also can be pretty meditative to do that. I don't know how for you, for me, definitely. And also it's kind of my favorite stage of the illustration because it's just very graphic, a little bit cartoony, and you can see where shadow may lay on a sketch. So. Uh, I'm going to speed up this uh, bit a little bit more and uh, we'll see you when we will start putting a color. Okay guys, I think we just uh, did a great job and uh, on a separate layer with a, a brush pen brush <laughs> uh, we're starting to put some color, starting with the skin or with, uh, I don't know, uh, it's up to you but I'm always starting with the skin and uh, remembering with the highlights but because we have a lot of clothes on a girl I think with the neck line 
we just gonna just put a solid color there but I just like this uh, brush pen is a standard procreate brush and I just like the shape of it and when you do a stroke it's a very like very pretty solid line so it just doesn't it just creates this very nice kind of volume and shape so as you can see on the legs it's a little bit you know leaving highlights as well and uh, I think it looks kind of good this way with this brush so first I'm doing legs then it's gonna be then we're gonna do hair uh, then we're gonna do like a blazer skirt top and bag and shoes so I'm gonna speed up speed up this bit as well and so you can just purely focus on uh, on the coloring. I'm gonna put a fly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite
Uh, we're finishing coloring the bag and uh, also in a separate layer I like I always like to do um, a shadow line and uh, usually the shadow line has to be um, I mean darker than so it's kind of black or gray or things but in my illustrations I really love to do the shadow lines with some nice pastel colors like a pinky or blue or mint so that's also my thing and i really love doing it uh, using this thing in my illustration and uh, it's kind of like a, my signature thing but if you want feel free to use it because i'm happy to share and uh, on a separate layer with a monoline brush i'm just adding my favorite little movement lines it's like a little strokes which makes um, illustration a little bit uh, more like um, quirky and more it adds this kind of a little bit charm to it i love these lines because they look a little bit more architectural and uh, it just creates this nice vibe so try if you like it as well you can uh, you can also use it in your illustrations if you don't like it simply skip this step because even without that this illustration looks pretty good to me uh, it's very basic i would say way to do this illustration yeah don't forget to put your signature on it and uh, it's a very basic way to do illustration, but also uh, if I would work for a client with this illustration, I would obviously add some more um, color, like a, more like a, more shades of 
colors on a blazer and maybe on a hair but for today just for you know little trial i think that's pretty good so feel free to share your creations uh, with me in instagram and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and also i hope you realize that creative fashion art it's n it's not very much about the technical skills it's more about creativity and uh, obviously with procreate we have so much tools and so much things to try and implement which makes this process really fun and thanks for watching see you in the next video